there's a bunch of electoral information that I think is interesting. Uh, in uh, First of all, with regard to the whole Arizona thing, um, it's increasingly looking like, you know, the, the early voters got counted. And, you know, the people who showed up at the polls didn't. And now, why is that? Because, the, because Maricopa County, now, unlike uh, uh, some other counties, but Maricopa County was aggressively already starting their voter suppression for the fall. Right. And in fact, in some Hispanic neighborhoods, no voting, poll, no polling places whatsoever. They cut it from 300 down to 60. So, uh, you know, and, and uh, in terms of the uh, Hillary Bernie end of that, uh, it's it's a fairly it's fairly clear. It, it seems that on the early vote, Hillary won that about two to one, although the, the numbers are at this point more or less largely speculative. But when you look at, like, for example, in Yava, Yavapai County, the exit polls showed uh, Bernie 63 to 37 for Hillary, but the actual results are 54 Hillary to 43 Bernie. Um, excuse me, 54 uh, Hillary to 43 for, yeah, uh, 54 Bernie to 43 for Hillary. So what accounts for that difference? Well, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of people who were independent tried to vote and discovered that it was a closed primary and they couldn't, although there are a lot of Democrats who are asserting that they showed up and they were registered as Democrats and they still weren't allowed to vote. So if that's the case, just some quick and this, you know, whether you support Bernie, Hillary or, you know, Donald Trump, it, you know, the, here are some deadlines that are coming up. If uh, you are not registered as a, for uh, this is actually Democratic Party, this wouldn't be Donald Trump, but if you're not registered as a Democrat in New York State by tomorrow, you will not be able to vote on Tuesday, April 19th in the primary. So if you're in New York State, tomorrow is the deadline. In fact, I got an email. I didn't, I, I, I'm on both Hillary and Bernie's uh, email list. I didn't, didn't see anything from, from the Hillary camp. But the Bernie campaign is just sent out an email asking everybody, you know, uh, is our targeting analyst Brian Muirhead came over to my desk and told me that we can win New York State, a critical 247 delegates, but we need to register 13,000 more New York voters in time for the deadline, which is tomorrow. So they're calling for phone bankers over there. Well, makes sense. So if you're in New York, Hillary or Bernie, you need to register as a Democrat if, and this is if you've never voted before in New York State. You need to register as a Democrat by Friday. If you uh, previously had voted in New York State, the date that you had to re-register with the Democratic Party must, must it was last October, so it's too late. But you might want to check your party affiliation. It's, you know, this, the, like I said, the deadline is March 25th, and this is for the April 19th primary. Rhode Island, the deadline is tomorrow. March 25th for their Tuesday, uh, April 26th primary. Wyoming, the deadline is tomorrow, March 25th. These are all closed caucus states or closed primary states. Uh, uh, New York and, and Rhode Island are primaries. Wyoming is a caucus. Hawaii, it's a closed caucus. You must register as a Democrat to vote. Uh, they do have same-day registration, so it's not quite so bad. So the, their deadline is Saturday, which, by the way, is the caucus day, day after tomorrow. Washington State. Anyone can vote regardless of party affiliation, but the caucus is Saturday, and they say no, arrive no later than 9.30 in the morning if you're in Washington State. And in Pennsylvania, they have closed primaries, and you must register as a Democrat to vote by Monday, March 28th. That's, um, that's next Monday. And you may find, by the way, if you're trying to register to vote, and I said tomorrow is the deadline, I don't know about a lot of these states, uh, New York, Rhode Island, Wyoming, but I. this is the Easter weekend, isn't it? Sunday's Easter, which means that Friday's Good Friday, which means that Friday is a, is a federal holiday, I think. It's not? Okay. It's a, it's a national holiday, but not a federal holiday. What, what the heck's the difference? It's, well, in any case, I'm wondering if some of these states are going to be closed on Friday. And so you might want to, you know, today may actually be the deadline. I just, yeah, you know, I can't tell you. I just don't know for sure. But, uh, and, and along the uh, line of, uh, you know, partisan politics, or actually it's not partisan, Democratic Party politics. First of all, the, uh, the 
primaries coming up this weekend are Washington State, Alaska, and Hawaii. So if you're in one of those three states, pay attention. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.